Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, so I'm just going to pull some guidance cards for today. Uh, so I'm asking the question, what do we need to know to help us for our reunions? And so for the first is from the Moonology deck. And the other thing is I'm just going to the sacral chakra sacral and root chakras have been really prominent um so it would be recommended to do some um root chakra and sacral chakra clearing there's lots of things on youtube that you can listen to meditative mind is a really good one that i like um so if you check out their channel there's loads of chakra clearing so uh, the first one then is Moonology. What do we need to know about our reunions? And it is, look at that. This is the same one that we had the other day for the Divine Counterpart. It's a personal issue reaches resolution. <laughs> so, um, full moon in Cancer. Let's have a look. So, the personal issue reaches resolution. Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around. So tread carefully as you move towards your goals or your dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that domestic matter or a private issue will soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is a time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. So the message is the heightened emotions of the moon cancer combination can't be ignored. However, cancer is one of the moon's two home signs along with Taurus. So astrologically speaking, the moon loves to be in this sign. In fact, she rules cancer. This means that with this card, there's a sense that all is as it should be. Or don't worry, all will soon be well. Okay, so all will soon be well. Um, <clears throat> and interestingly, it's got the crab on it. Now, when I did... Uh, when I do... Um, clearing energy for myself it's I either see energy that I need to release as sort of sticky tarry dark energy or I see it as crabs leaving which is just a little and it's red crabs so it's bizarre I don't know you know who knows why that but anyway so that's what I see so it just shows again that this is you know again we're releasing energies that sacral chakra oh I know why I see red crabs because it's red as the root chakra right it's that feeling of feeling connected it's the feeling of fe knowing that you're always supported it's knowing that whatever's happening for is happening for you not to you it's the feeling of moving out of victim mode into, no, it's okay, I realise this is happening for my soul growth. And everything that's happening is happening for a reason, and I might not see it now, but I will see it in a month or whatever. So, uh, and it, this too shall pass, right? This is the message of today. This too shall pass and breathe. So the next one is... Uh, the work your light what do we need to know to help us oh look at that again the initiation card okay two of these cards came up in the read yesterday so this card was on our side that card was on the divine counterpart side i did totally <laughs> shuffle these cards well i've been shuffling them loads because i've been doing lots of personal reads so um yeah it's uh okay well there we go. So the message is still strong. You're crossing the threshold. It is a rite of passage. So if you're going through a tough time, you know, remember it's happening for you, not to you. Some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey that the soul pilgrim is required to take to reach somewhere sacred, but only the initiated can enter. Perhaps that's where you are right now. You are being tested initiated because you are headed somewhere sacred 
So you are in the middle of initiation right now. You will, you will get through it. And one day soon, you will bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. You are going somewhere sacred. It will be worth it. And you're closer than you think. There you go. So if you're like, when is it going to change? There you go. You're closer than you think. So the next one is from my favourite deck, which is the Starman Tarot. And it is what is the main energy that we're working with today. And it is the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. I always love to see the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> because that's like uh, abundance, resources, everything. Come look at that. And it's the Princess of Swords again. Okay, that was from yesterday. Again, this is crazy. So Princess of Swords is just more about coming into our truth. But the Ten of Pentacles is just always a joy to see. Because it means that abundance and, you know, kind of like knowing that you're going to be okay. Right? And that's all about the root chakra. The root chakra, when you do root chakra clearing and make sure that your root chakra is grounded and you're, you know, basically aligned with the universe... That's when you know the Ten of Pentacles is, that's when you can be in the Ten of ten, ten Pentacles. Because it is, um, I give a wealth of life seeding ideas. There you go. The concept of six degrees of separation is a theory where any person on the planet can be connected to any or another person through a chain of acquaintances with no more than five intermediaries. The world of remote social networks claims it might now only be three and a half degrees of separation. Similarly, the spiritual teacher Byron Katie, creative of a system of inquiry known as The Work, suggests we could have anything we wanted if we were prepared to ask a thousand people. Once we open to the idea of networking, of building, maintaining and refining networks, of collaborating and facilitating each other's visions and dreams, anything becomes possible. True wealth comes from consciously creating high quality experiences, regardless of circumstances. We don't play the wait and delay game of when. <laughs> Living alchemy, then, is the process by which the basic raw materials of your life, both good and bad, can be formed into the gold of experience. The Ten of Pentacles invites you to co-create, explore with those you love, and discover the wealth of experiencing life fully with others. The whole of hum humanity is your family. The whole of planet Earth is your home. Oh, I love that. The whole of humanity is your family. The whole of planet Earth is your home. So the message is, is um, co-create and explore the world with those you love, passing on the means to thrive, connecting with others, and creating networks of resources. Well, that's everything that we're doing on the crystal grid. If you remember the crystal grid, then we are connecting to resources because we are literally uh, connected by the heart and the crystal. So if you've... Oh, look. So 41, this is from my mantra book, and it is, my path home is mapped out in my heart. I just have to quiet my mind and listen. So my path home is mapped out in my heart. I just have to quiet my mind and listen. And that is repeat, 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 repeat. And the more that you repeat it, the more you lift and shift your vibration, the more you send those little love bubbles out to the universe, out to your twin spirit, and then you can just magnify and also magnetize everything to you. So my path home is mapped out in my heart. I just have to quiet my mind and listen. So um, just so in line with the root chakra, just like I was saying, root and sacral chakra at the beginning. Um, that's when you're feeling, you know, basically when your root and sacral chakra are out of line, it's when you start to feel like you're not being supported, right? You're feeling... A bit of a victim as to your surroundings um, and that's when you need to do root chakra sacral chakra clearing healing because then get grounded stand outside barefoot you know get a crystal that is really good for grounding if you're part of the crystal grid hold your rose quartz against your heart and really feel into the connection of being connected to all of these souls all over the planet that are helping to bring you know, um, the spiritual love into the physical and helping to bring, this is literally what we're doing on the crystal grid. Look, it's no surprise it's round a grid. You know, we are literally bringing the Ten of Pentacles into our reality. And sometimes that's hard. 
sometimes it is because we're on a rite of passage as well we are all doing this spiritual journey together but look at what was underneath it transformation because we're changing you know we are changing no matter what it looks like we are bringing down the ten of pentacles from spirit into physical reality so I hope that helps and if you want a healing or reading a channel letter please do all the details in the link and the other thing is if you want to get any of these books the mantra books again amazing I am the captain of my reunion ship and I sail on stormy waters with ease and grace anchoring love onto the planet <laughs> Uh, so there's just like one for money, one for love, one for body, one for magic and there's going to be more coming out but these are just an amazing way of staying on track, lifting and shifting your vibration, you know, um, 60 mantras in each of the books and basically you look at the clock, go to the relevant mantra, read it out for 60 seconds and then bam, it is like magic, it really does lift and shift your vibe. So there you go. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.